everyone, I'm Krista, shamanic practitioner as well as teacher of shamanic classes and welcome to my video talking about the healing symbolism of the power animal, also known as spirit animal, the seagull. Now, if you would like to find out what your power animal is and what it has to teach you specifically, I do offer online shamanic healing sessions on Zoom, so you can book that session with me on my website, shamanicspirit.ca, or if you would like to learn more about shamanism and shamanic healing techniques, I do offer live and interactive online shamanic healing classes. You can check out my class schedule on my website and register for classes at shamanicspirit.ca. All right, so let's now dive in to the healing symbolism of the seagull. So seagulls are amazing birds. And when we look at seagulls, they live close to the water, they're on the beaches, and they like to hang out at the shoreline. Now in shamanism, the shoreline where the water meets the earth is a beautiful liminal space that symbolizes mystery and magic. So if you partake in any type of magical practices, having the power animal of the seagull can help you tap into that magical energy and to harness it for the highest good to enhance magic in your life and beautiful magical workings. Also, when we look at the shorelines, shorelines are also associated with the fairy realm. So if you have an affinity to fairies and like to connect to fairies, having the power animal of the seagull can open up your intuition, also open up your psychic senses and psychic perception to be able to perceive the beautiful energy of fairies and connect more deeply with them and open up a communication to the fairy realm. Seagulls are also associated with two elements, the element of water and the element of air. So being a bird, of course, they're connected to the element of air as they fly in the sky, but because they love to hang out close to the water, they're also associated with water. And in shamanism, the air element represents the mind and the intellect and learning abilities. Water represents emotions. So having a power animal of the seagull can help you to harness the power of your mind to learn new things to also develop your intellect and also associated with water having the seagull as a power animal can help you to balance your emotions so for instance if your emotions get the better view or if you have a lot of emotional ups and downs then having the power animal of the seagull will help you to be more emotionally balanced or if you have a tendency to have an overactive mind maybe you overanalyze things maybe your mind is super busy and making it hard for you to focus or even hard to sleep at night having the power animal of the seagull can help you to balance your mind balance your emotions and harmonize your mind and emotions so that you have balanced thoughts, more positive thoughts, that you're able to then quiet the mind and also have good emotional balance to also enhance the positive emotions, to enhance love and joy and compassion, peace, and help to release other negative emotions like anger and fear and sadness and grief. Now, when we look at the beautiful energies of the seagulls, that the seagulls have really good conduct, really good manner and good etiquette. So having a power animal of the seagull can help to bring out that good side of you, to have good manners, good mm. etiquette, articulate communication, mm. as they have strong codes of conduct and strong beautiful codes of positive behavior so for instance if you need to bring out good manners good etiquette let's say you are going to a fancy dinner party and you're not sure what the etiquette is having the power animal of the seagull can help you to pick up that good etiquette of what you need to know so that you can also blend into those situations and have good etiquette and have the good codes of conduct and behavior to match those people around you. 
or if you travel to a foreign country and you don't know what the codes of etiquette are or the codes of conduct, having the power animal of the seagull will help you to learn that, to pick that up quickly, and then to also harmonize and integrate into that country, into that culture there. And this can be very useful for you so that you don't make mistakes or you don't stand out or you don't offend anybody. Also, when we look at seagulls, they keep the beaches clean. They like to clean up the environment. So for those of you that like to take care of the environment, who are stewards of the environment, then having the power animal of the seagull can help you to be a really good caretaker of the environment to help you to recycle, to not use harsh chemicals that can pollute the environment, and also to be able to treat the earth with kindness and respect. Also, if you like to do healing meditations that involve healing the earth, healing the environment, or transmuting toxic energies, then having the power animal of the seagull can take those meditations to a deeper level and bring out those beautiful healing qualities to bring healing to the earth, to also bring healing into the environment. Now, when you look at seagulls, they have a red dot on their beak. And the baby seagulls will actually poke on the red dot on the parent's beak to let them know that they're hungry and they would like to eat. So for those of you that would like to have balance with your diet, maybe you're eating foods that are more processed or maybe you gravitate towards junk food or sweets or fried foods or salty foods and you want to get rid of that in your diet and clean up your diet and help to eat uh, more healthy foods. Having the power animal of the seagull can help you to balance your diet, also help you to then make wise choices to choose the healthier food options, and also to help you with dieting, especially if you want to lose weight so that you are able to have a nice, good, healthy, balanced diet. Or for those of you that have eating disorders of any kind, having the power animal of the seagull can help you to heal from that, creating more balance and harmony for you as well. And also to heal the mental and emotional sides of why you have those eating disorders or why you gravitate, let's say, to sweets or junk foods or fried foods or salty foods, to heal those aspects to bring you back into harmony, to then create good health for you, good diet for you. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to go deeper into shamanism, I do offer live and interactive online shamanic healing classes teaching you beautiful shamanic healing techniques. You can check out my class schedule and register for classes on my website, shamanicspirit.ca. And if you would like to do your own personal healing work, I do offer online shamanic healing sessions. I do that on Zoom. You can book a private shamanic healing session with me on my website shamanicspirit.ca. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Lots of love and light and blessings to you and may you enjoy this beautiful day.